The BAR is an icon of the Second World War, but the FN Model 1930 might be the best version of all the designs, both in real life and in the game. What's up scholars, it's your professor here, Enlightened Enlisted, and today we're going to be looking at the gold weapon order, the FN Model 30, aka the Axis BAR. So let's get into it. First off, the history of this weapon will tell us why it's in-game and why the Axis have access to this American-designed firearm. Well, in 1925, the American manufacturer Colt, who owns the design by John Moses Browning, the creator of the BAR, and pretty much the Johnny Sins of the firearm world, would go on to lease out the idea to FN Firearms. The idea was simple, for Colt to corner the light machine gun market. FN would only sell to European nations, and Colt would sell pretty much to the rest of the world. The light machine gun was a relative new concept for militaries coming out of the Great War, which led to some pretty interesting purchases of the Model 30. The rifle would see service all over for notable countries such as Ethiopia, Luxembourg, Chile, Belgium, Egypt, and even China. 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 Since most of the nations were invaded and later occupied by Axis forces, it wouldn't be unheard of for their adoptions into the ranks of their own military. Now, there are some notable differences with the FN bar than the standard one you might be familiar with that the Americans used in World War II. The D variant has a detachable or quick change barrel. This is pretty standard in today's machine guns like the M249 Saw or the M240 Bravo, but a new concept for light machine guns of the day. You have to remember these light machine guns only had 20 to 30 round magazines versus a belt fed crew serve weapon of like the MG42 styles that we were, you know, used to in World War II. The ability to change out the barrels even in short bursts allowed by the FN made it more effective in defensive operations, something that was desperately needed in the defense of China against the Japanese. Another notable difference is the addition of a pistol grip to all Model 30 rifles. This made the rifle easier to shoulder fire and use as an assault type rifle than its American counterpart. Before we go any further, I want to give a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to be a supporter of the channel, check out the link in the comment section below. And anyways, back to the video. The FN and the Colt Monitor in-game are pretty much the same, but the FN has better overall stats. With impressive hitting power, muzzle velocity, and a rate of fire, its real downsides are honestly just the vertical recoil and magazine capacity. So we need to design our loadout to mitigate these weaknesses. Large ammo pouches aren't a must, but I tend to give them to all my assault and LMG troopers in-game because I tend to run out of bullets often. Oh, there's my last round. Alright, I guess I'll give them the old stabby stabby. Come here. Come here. Yeah, come on out. Step, step, oh. If you have access to a sword, I would recommend it as it does give you that speed boost when running, which will allow you to get in a better position to use the weapon. Perk-wise, reduction of recoil is a must for those longer shots. Even though the magazine size is a bit small for an LMG, I wouldn't really recommend getting reload speed perks because the FN reloads very, very quickly already. It's really a pretty easy weapon to build a loadout and trooper around it. The weapon can be used up close as more of an assault rifle or at medium ranges in more of a defensive posture. Because of its high recoil, the farther the engagement distance, the harder it's going to be for you to stay on target, despite it having a great sight picture. Since there's a huge bonus for you actually shooting from the kneeling or prone, I suggest getting perks that make you get into those positions faster and move faster in those positions as well, and you also want to tap fire. Even though the campaign system is going away and the German faction would have a wider role than the Japanese in game, I still recommend it more for the Empire of the Rising Sun over their German counterpart. The reason is pretty simple, the MG34 and 42 are just better for the role of machine gunner, and the Japanese machine guns in game currently are already designed to be more aggressive in their deployment. The FN is just better than all the ones you can unlock for them currently anyways. Also, can I say that the developers did a great job with this rifling game? If you're wondering which Model 30 it is in the game, it's actually the D variant that I talked about earlier because you can see the quick change barrel mechanism here. Also on the side, they have the accurate markings for FN with the famous Fabrique Nationale d'Armes de Gour. Which if you're like me and don't speak French fluently, it means National Factory of Weapons for War. Would I recommend this over other gold weapon orders? That's a more complicated answer and depends on what factions you're trying to equip and what you already have. Is it better than the MK36? 100%. But if you don't have the Coenders, I would recommend that over this. But if you're looking for a premium squad to buy, I would recommend you check out my review video on the Rocket Bundle. If you have something that you want me to review next, let me know down in the comments. And also tell me what gold weapon orders you're wanting to get. While you're down there, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, as it does help smaller channels like me get discovered on the vast oceans of YouTube. As always, scholars, hit those books and hit those bottles. Cheers.